Hello and welcome back to Crochet My House. It's been a busy week working on the kitchen, doing some decorating and stuff. So I haven't done as much crochet as I sometimes do, but I have still done some things. Today I think I'll start with some finished objects. First of all, Eeyore is finished! Yay! I think he's so cute. Lovely. Oh, and this button, it's one of those ones with a back loop, but made it look more like a nail. Basically, these little chubby legs, and his ears, and I've got his mane done, which looks super cute, and his wee hat. So he's all finished. As usual, I'll link the patterns down below. Next up, I've been doing some ornaments. Starting with these ones, round ornaments. So this one, it has blue, like a teal, aqua colour, purpley colour, white, pink, and then another purple. Really cute. I have this one, which is red, green, and white. The white sparkly. I have this other one, which is red, white, and green, mostly white, of course, but there's some red and a stripe of green. And the last one of these that I finished is this one, which is all sparkle yarns. So you might be able to see it sparkle. We have a blue, pink, and a purple. And the way you make these is you make two halves and then you stick them around the basic bobble. I'll link it down below as well. And I also finished this little cookie ornament. It has some icing with sprinkles on it and a little loop. One to squares and marks in progress. Firstly I finished the turtle. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. He's got his shell and he's and everything. I added a base onto him here so that his shell pops up more so he's lightly stuffed just regular stuffing and I have one more square that I started from the book this week which happens to be the pie square there you go that's the pie square it's green because I'm making it to be a key lime pie and to go along with that, I was looking online for a line slice that I could put on it, and I found this pattern. Although I have altered the pattern just a little by these lines here, you're supposed to leave a tail and sew them, but instead on the round that has that colour, I worked out that if I did it every two stitches, I could put this in as a spike single and I think it worked really well. The last thing that I've been doing with squares is the grey square game. I don't know if any of you like it but I've been enjoying playing it. I'm up to 12 squares now. I'm aiming to have 16 I'm making them for a little dog blanket. These are how all of them look so far. A different green one, there's the yellow ones now. I've got a couple more pink bits coming in these last ones. See? Pinks and purples, blues. It's really fun to play. Here's what I've got so far. A little bundle of squares. I'm going to do it so that there's like four by four I think it was that I worked out. Um, I'm doing six rounds on each square. So six rounds. Um, I don't have any that are finished yet. This is the closest one to getting there. So that's the end of my squares for this week. Now I'm going to talk about a blanket I've been working on. 
which is for my friend. I have done a couple of rows since my last video, so I will show you that. It is holding it upside down. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is the line kit so far. So it started down here, then we have a Catherine wheel, space back and forth. Then there's the star stitch here, and then granny square, cra granny shell stitch again up here. It's pretty long, so it, ta it takes a pretty long time to get to the end. But it's looking really nice. Um, that little star stitch is really pretty. So that's the last thing I've been working on. All I've got left now is um, I have this ball of yarn that I actually got for my birthday back in January. It's a um, pom pom hat yarn. So lightweight free. Oh, when um, trying to see if I can see ah, a hundred print, a hundred percent acrylic. So that's what this ball is, and what I'm going to use it for is I saw recently the Inside Crochet magazine is coming out, and while looking through a couple of pictures that they put out, there's a really really cute hat, and so I want to use this to make the hat. So I thought that'd be super cute. And lastly, I tried this recently, and it, it's really nice, really odd, but really nice. So, um, drumstick, if you don't know, it's a chewy kind of lolly, and then they put chocolate around it. it, it's pretty interesting. So, this week, my question is, would anyone like it if I made a Facebook group for the channel? You could add that to your comment down below as well as saying whatever you've been up to this week, whether it be crochet or knitting or whatever else. So, um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, all of those cool things. And I'll see you in the next video.